everyone welcome back to programming in python.com i'm back with another video here i'm going to tell you how to print a diamond pattern but in the previous videos i told you how to print a pyramid pattern and also i told you how to print a reverse pyramid pattern here i'm going to combine the both and print a diamond pattern so there will be pyramid pattern and below that there will be reverse pyramid pattern so combine it's called a diamond pattern so this is the pattern I'm going to print today. So in the previous videos about pyramid pattern and reverse pyramid pattern, I followed a procedure like looping rows and columns to print uh, this pyramid shape or the reverse pyramid shape. So here in this video, I'm going to do a bit different. So instead of looping both rows and columns, here also there will be two loops as usual for the previous pyramid and reverse pyramid. Here also there will be two loops. But one loop will be printing pyramid and other loop will be printing reverse pyramid. We don't loop here rows and columns. I will only print directly the rows. First row, second row, third row, fourth row. I'll print the rows directly. So let's see how this happens. As I show the size is 4 here. So I'll write size equal to 4. So size equal to 4. So what I'll do, I'll write two for loops. This is the first for loop for printing the pyramid and the, there will be another for loop for printing the reverse pyramid so what are the conditions here uh, how I print a pyramid and how I print a reverse pyramid in all the previous videos uh, there were simply two loops one for rows and one for columns like I will be looping all these and all these and I will print stars and spaces here as I said there will be a little, little bit different I will directly print the rows suppose here the size is 4 if you uh, see, if you make it as a square and if you keep, the, keep it in boxes, you will see there will be three spaces here. This is a space, this is a space, this is a space and then there is a star. And here there will be two spaces. And here there will be one space and here there will be no space. And we will come to reverse permit, the same will be in reverse pattern. There will be one space, there will be two space and there will be three spaces here. So that is how I am going to print. What I am going to print is I will print 3 spaces and then a star. In the next iteration I will print 2 spaces and then a star. So I will write for that. For P is called P for pyramid. For P in range. What I am going to do is from 0 to size. Size here is 4. I will write N. I will just uh, replace it and I will write it as N just for our program purpose. So 0 to N. For 0 to N what I have to do? I have to print. Print what I am going to print? I will print 3 stars and uh, 3 spaces and 1 star. But how do I count that 3? Because here the size is 4, I am counting as 3. Like these are the spaces. I am writing empty here. This is the space. I am writing how many spaces I want. That means into. How many spaces I want? Into. I want 3 spaces. How do I count that? That is, we are counting from n, that is n minus 1 minus p. Okay, initially p will be 0, n will be 4. That means 4 minus 1, 3 minus p, 0, that is 3. So I will print 3 spaces here. You can see this is a space. Actually, I am keeping underscore here. This will be a space here. Plus, I am concatenation. I will print 3 spaces. Plus, now I will write a condition for printing stars. So how many stars I want? star into this is a star and this is an into I will just change the colors so that you can understand so I have changed the colors this is into I mean I am printing space into this many times plus this is the concatenation stars into how many times I have to print stars here how many times I have to print stars I have to print only one stars how do I count how do I get that one that means here we are looping from 0 to n so initially p will be 0 I will write p plus 1 that means I will print 1 star. P initial will be 0, it will print 1 star. So for example, consider this loop. For example, we will go later to the service permit. So here, first if we go to this loop, it will print, uh, if suppose n equal to 4, it will print first 4 minus 1, 3 minus P is 0, 0 star, uh, I mean, zero, 4 minus 1, 3 minus 0 equal to 3, 3 into spaces. So it will print 3 spaces. Plus, plus here is concatenation, stars. Star, how many stars I want to print in P plus 1. Initially P 0, 0 plus 1, 1. So 1 star. Next, another iteration will go. Then P will become 1. 
So n minus 1, 4 minus 1, 3 minus 1, 2. So it will print 2 spaces plus it will print a star and how many times it will print? P equal to 1, 1 plus 1, 2. So it will print 2 stars. So that is the condition. So until it, it, it will go until 4 and it will print here. So similarly for the reverse pyramid, for RP, So this is the pyramid up to here it will print and this is the reverse pyramid from the downside as I already said in reverse pyramid program we are iterating here from down to from up to down basically we loop from 0 to 5 or 0 to 10 this is what we did but here we will loop from 5 to 0 or here in this case 4 4 to 0 so for that how will I get that 4 that is to 0 I will give minus 1 so that, is, uh, that means it will return in the reverse order so for RP in range n minus 1 4 minus 1 3 2 it will go to 0 that means 3 2 1 0 that means 4 so here what I will print here I will print same I also have to print spaces how many spaces I want to print here here I want to print spaces how many spaces I want to print n minus rp similar to this one we are printing n minus p here i'll print n minus rp as we are already giving minus 1 here we don't need here so n minus rp i will I'll print n minus rp times and then i'll concatenate plus and how many times i'll print spaces i mean stars Here simply I print RP times. So suppose here in this condition our N is 4 and R will be 3. So we are giving as N minus 1. So 4 minus 1, 3, 4 minus 3, that is 1. So it will print 1 space and then plus. So concatenation to print stars. How many times? RP. RP as I said, it is 3. So it will print 3 stars. So in the next iteration, so R will become 2. So it will print 4, 4 minus 2, 2. So it will print two spaces here and then RP is also two, so it will print two stars here. Similarly, uh, it will iterate like that. So that is how we print this diamond shape. So basically I'm doing a pyramid shape. So basically I'm printing a pyramid shape and then a reverse pyramid shape. But instead of uh, in the, like, like the old logics like looping rows and columns, I'm directly printing a row with stars and spaces with spaces and stars as count. So if you see, this is this for loop. This for loop is for printing this upper pyramid, uh, this is pyramid, uh, upper, uh, upper side and this for second for loop is called, this for reverse pyramid, it will print from here to here, so that's all, so this is for upper pyramid and this is for reverse pyramid, that is lower pyramid, so that's it guys, that's the explanation for this, now I'll go into my computer, I open my PyCharm ID and I'll tell you how to code that so that you can see the implementation of it and also execute the program and see the output so let me go into my computer now I'm in my Python ID as usual I will just ask users to enter a range num is equal to int I will cast or I will also cast this to int input enter the range So now I'll print uh, two for loops, one for printing the pyramid and other for printing the reverse pyramid. So for P is called pyramid in range. Uh, this pyramid I'll call I'll, I'll be calling from zero to the fifth element or sixth element or what is whatever is the num. Suppose if we consider num is five, uh, it will run from zero to five. So we can by, by default we can give num. That means it will call from zero to this particular number. So here, what I should do is, uh, if you see the diamond pattern, uh, if it will uh, have something like this, uh, I will show. Like if I give the number as 5, so it will print uh, uh, 4 spaces and then a star. And then next line, it will print 3 spaces and then a star. And then in next line, it will print 2 spaces and then a star. So in each iteration, it will uh, count these spaces and then star. So what I will do is, I will just... Uh, 
I'll just uh, print. I'll print spaces. How many spaces I want? Like uh, into is num minus one because the range starts from uh, zero and the number is uh, five or something like that. So num minus one minus p. That means like in the first time it will print uh, five rows or four or five or five spaces or four spaces. The next time it will reduce minus one and it will print uh, uh, next uh, uh, three spaces and next it will print two spaces. For that we will write this is spaces into four. This is write something writing like this space into four. Then it will print four spaces plus this means concatenation. I'll print stars. I'll print star and space. I'll print this and I will also tell how many times this should print. So if I say it's, uh, if it is one. And if I run and see, you will definitely see four spaces and one star. So you see, for everything you can, you, may, you are maybe seeing five spaces and one star. So to print four spaces and one star, uh, we are giving manually. For, uh, instead of giving manually, we can change it to uh, num minus p minus one. And this should be into p plus one. Here, as p is initially will be zero, we need to print one star there initially. And next time, it should print two stars. So for that, we'll write p plus one. This is for pyramid. And then for reverse pyramid, I'll call it as rp. In range, as you know, this range should be from reverse instead of uh, if I give a number as five, it should be, it should come from five to zero. Num minus one to zero, and that two I should give minus one. That means instead of I told you in the uh, previous reverse pyramid video, and just in the whiteboard, uh, this minus one gives us the reverse. It will uh, go in the reverse pattern. It will travels in the reverse pattern. So if I give num as five, it will travel from five to one like that. So here print. You also have to print spaces and stars. Here spaces into here num minus rp. So initially R2 will be five, uh, so there will be no spaces. And in next iteration, R2 will be four, so there will be one space and then all stars. And plus uh, for printing spaces, uh, I mean for printing stars. Plus, I mean into RP. So uh, uh, so I'll just show you. It will have. Four spaces, a star and space. Next, I'll have three spaces, a star, a space, and a star and space. Next, it will have two spaces, star, space, star, space, star, space. Next, it will have one space, star, space, star, space, star, space, star, space. Next, it will have no spaces at all, star, space, star, space. This will be the uh, this will be the pattern when we run this loop for this loop. So initially num is five. Suppose we are assuming num is five. That means it will have num minus one minus p. That means it should print four spaces and then one star. So I have print four spaces and one star. In the next iteration, num value will be four. That means four minus one three will print three uh, three spaces and p equal to one. So one plus one will print two stars. So similarly for all the iterations that happen, this will print for this for loop. Immediately after this for loop, we are also printing this for loop. So that is the complete reverse. If you see, initially it will have one space and four stars like this, and next it will have two spaces and stars like this. The next iteration will have two space, three spaces, so this so uh, it will uh, find yeah, it, this uh, this second thing is for the reverse pyramid pattern. Just the same, but it will print in the reverse order. So this is for this. Uh, so now if I run this and see, I'll just run this diamond pattern. And we'll use the range as eight. You can see this is the diamond button. That means you will be there will be eight here and there will be eight down here. 
I will run again and I give some smaller number of 4. You can see this is the 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the pyramid 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is the reverse pyramid 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's how we print the diamond pattern. Hope you like the video, guys. If you like it, please consider subscribing to my channel programming in python.com. And also make sure you look at the description where I'll be sharing the GitHub link and also the blog post and also other useful links in the description. And also if you want to improve your skills in Python, I'll suggest you a great course that's called Python Mastery. That's a very well structured course uh, which is available in udemy.com. So I'll also post that link in the description. So make sure you are checking the description. Please share this video with your friends and also people who might be beneficial with these videos. Um, stay tuned for more videos on programming in python.com. See you in the next video. Bye bye.